I'm pretty optimistic about uh, my opportunity to lend a voice to this and, and get some movement. But, um, you know, I understand that that, that takes time and, and takes um, pressure. And, and, you know, I'm not expecting overnight change. The problem didn't start overnight. I don't expect the solution to come overnight. Uh, but, but progress is, at this point in time, a must. You know, I, th I feel like this is one of those turning points um, in which, you know, those who stand by will fall victim to whatever, whatever comes down the pipe. What we're seeing now, we have so much technology that we get, uh, we get access to videos and it's on the news and people are starting to see what this looks like. And, it, and now those who, um, who weren't exposed to it before are, are forced to choose a side and forced to deal with this issue. And that's, that's what's dividing our country. The problem has been there and it's, it's always been there. Um, but it's becoming harder for us to sweep it under the rug. None, non-violent drug, drug offenders um, who are getting outrageous number of, of years in, in prison. Um, and one of, the, one of the problems that you have with that is the re-entry back into society, um, which I think becomes a, a huge problem. Um, Second Chance Act is another um, where we're trying to help those people that have been in prison um, when they come back, they have the support of trying to get um, getting back into society, um, trying to get jobs, um, because I mean we all know that once you're in the system, it's hard to to be a normal citizen.